now that we've made travel so expensive, we have this hotel to ourselves. How'd you get here? Kayak. They compared hundreds of travel sites to find a great deal on my flight, car, and hotel. Kayak. Search one and done. As church members arrived Sunday to Sunnyside Baptist Church in Kingsport, and as the doors were shut to start the service, my heart's troubled because there are 48 people that are not here. Heavy hearts were on the mind of many in attendance, including Andrew Gibbons. It was a little concerning. I mean, um, I, you know, I stopped and said a prayer right when I first heard about it. This as 48 church members with ages ranging from young teenagers to older adults were visiting Israel and are currently still there as a war rages on with Hamas following a surprise attack on Israel. I was somewhat uh, uh, overwhelmed uh, because uh, I didn't know where they were in relation to the bombings and the missiles and all that. Uh, so. It was devastating. All the storms that are over our head are always under his feet. Associate Pastor David Luster was able to learn from Senior Pastor Bill Sims, who was on the trip, that they were touring Masada when the conflict began. They had to load their back on the bus and come back to a safe, safer spot. And even from their hotel just 80 miles away, Luster was told they can hear the missile or they can hear the bombs going off. As the chaos continues, we we're going to alter our program. We're going to have a special time of prayer. Church members came together Sunday in a moment of prayer for their friends and family. We've, we've got husbands here. Their wives is there. We've got people here. Their children are there. And, um, uh, uh, we come together, I felt it was necessary for the body to come together. It's a comfort knowing that that many people are focused on the same thing and that, you know, that we're praying to a God that answers prayers and, and will protect, protect our people that are there. At a time with so much unknown, Luster says the community is relying on God's word and prayers. We need to understand that the most powerful thing that believers have is the weapon of prayer. We can pray and God can do miraculous things. And it's not because we have the ability, but it's because that God is all powerful. With the hopes of a safe return for their flock back home to their shepherd. In Kingsport, Andrew McClung, News 5, WCYB.